All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing at the Madden cheese as always. I got some plays for you today out of my Bengals book again. This is by far my favorite book. The reason I have so many plays out of it is because I use it. Uh, but by far my favorite formation is the 46 normal. I just put out a blitz out of this, out of the fire three zone. And to me, it's probably the fastest, most consistent blitz that's in the game right now and that I found. It gets pressure right up the middle. Most people can't even handle the cover, uh, you know, the, the, the pressure that it brings. It's just a shutdown play. It makes defense so easy. Um, um, and I'll pop a link for that. This is not a video about that. I'm trying to basically complete, uh, I want to call this part two of uh, my series, but I've actually put out uh, three different uh, defensive plays out of this. If you want more out of the Bengals playbook, like I said, I have a full breakdown and an ebook on my personal website. But let's go ahead and let's continue this series and let's finish this off with some really nasty blitzes and run defenses. I would say this particular play you want to use in any scenario where the quarterback is either under center especially if it's a play action. If somebody's running a lot of under center play action type of plays, this will get to the quarterback before they get the ball off or it'll change the play one way or another. Or if somebody's trying to run up the middle, this is my go-to defense in fourth and one, third and one, third and two, you name it. If there's somebody running the ball I go and they're trying to get a short yard situation, I use this defense and it's shut down. So but like I said, this here is really going to be good um, against pretty much uh, under center plays. If it's like a shotgun or something, don't use this play. If it's a shotgun, use the fire zone three. Like I said, check that out. But let's go ahead and let's pick that play. Like I said, I'm, I'm not going to run this against random gun. Anytime the quarterback's off you know, out from under center, it's not really going to be the best play. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run random single back, and I'll show you how this play works. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick that. Now, just looking at this play right out the gate, I mean, you know, there's 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 no real safety help. So if you if you get caught in the pass, and it's a one on one, make sure you safe tackle. That's all I really can say. Don't try to light somebody up if you're not, especially if you're not a competent defender. But if you're a good defender, you can get away with this. So the only adjustment that I really make is I bring uh, this safe or this uh, linebacker here. And I drop him back to basically being a safety. I mean, it's my job. I'm going to try to patrol. And I really, I'm probably going to change out this guy real quick since I'm using Perfect, who's not very fast. I'll probably put in somebody faster. But uh, I'm going to play the safety role. And if you look at this from the quarterback's perspective, you can't tell it's not a safety. You know what I mean? It might look like a cover three zone or something to that effect uh, because you can't read the number on the, the guy. You can't, you can't tell for sure that I pulled back a linebacker. So that's one of the benefits to this uh, particular setup. But either way, like I said, I'm just going to play crowd control. If the running back runs out, i got to make my choice if I want to follow him. Depending on the situation, if it's like third and ten, that running back can do it every once. If it's like third and five, I probably got to follow him. Uh, but if it's like I said, if he's swinging out, it's like a third and long and I'm running this for whatever reason, uh, I'm not too worried about it. But either way, that's pretty much the setup. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch out this linebacker, which I'm not sure if I can do from this position. All right, position. so I went ahead and I put in my fastest guy. You always want speed. Uh, these blitzing guys don't necessarily have to be fast, but the, I, I really wish I didn't have to use the Bengals. I use the Bengals because I've always used the team in the playbook, but uh, the Bengals are actually a pretty bad defense. So let's go ahead and let's run this. Let's see how this works out. First play, see how they get in the sack. I mean, like I say, if he's under center, it's game over. Not only that, but I mean, it's not just being under center. The play action is going to make this game over. He's just going it, it, to, it holds up the running back to the point where he came and block, uh, which is not a good idea. Here's an inside run, told you, shut down. If anything, I would say if somebody ran like a max cover look, um, which is, you know, tight ends back, the running backs back, uh, that might have enough blocking to stop this. There, it gets a couple yards, but that's not the end of the world. I said, this is not a good defense, so I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that this uh, crappy Bengals D holds up. Not compared to my ultimate team, anyway. So there, you know what I'm saying? That's a free man coming in every time. That's going to be the way it's going to be. As he's losing a yard. I mean, if you guess right, and, something, and a lot of times the scenario or the situation can make it easy for you to guess. Like I said, if it's third and short or something like that, you can definitely guess where all oh, that was just horrible by me. Yeah, playing defense a lot of times is all about guessing, guessing what your opponent's going to do and getting it right. Um, and it, like I said, certain situations can make that um, the way. Oh, I totally, uh, there we go. See, that's, you know, the quarterback's getting pressured, the ball gets floated. And the easiest way to predict what your opponent's going to do is a lot of times predictable situations like third and short. If your opponent's up, you know, score something late in the game, they're going to try to, they're going to try, look at that. See, that's just shut down defense right there, get the sack. But yeah, previous plays can give away. I mean, if you see a formation and the guy's been running up the middle a lot, you can throw this into your rotation and sniff that out. Um, as you can see here, I mean, there's, you know, man coverage is going to kill those flats as he takes a yard. Um, like I said, not a great defense. Georgia Loca, not very fast, gets it done. Uh, but this is, you know, if you don't get the pressure, this can be, you know, you can't run this every play. Because if you don't get the pressure, it's not a good thing. Like I said, you just want to cover the middle of the field like you would a safety. That's a nice move on the ball right there. 
Like I said, this can be a risky play, so you can't run this all the time. But it's definitely a good run stopper. So we'll go ahead and move on to the next one. Now, the next one's uh, very similar. This one is for outside runs. Uh, same formation. We're going to go back to 4-6 normal. And, uh, you know, you don't, you're, you're basically selling out for the run in some of these plays. But at the same time, if you're mixing this in with some of these other plays, like I said, this is a full scheme. The cover 2 invert, the fire zone 3, and now the inside blitz and also the rush outside. Now, this is for outside runs. Um, I'll show, I might show another play. If this video doesn't go too long, I might show another play for outside runs. But that's the purpose of this video anyways, is run stopping, defense is all in the same. I showed the pass stopping. These are more run stopping. So the rush outside, I'll go ahead and I'll pick that. And we'll keep going random single back. Although, actually, that's not a, No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go concept because since we're going for outside runs here, I'll first start off with concept. We'll go sweeps. Now, this particular play... I'll just let it run just like this. It would look like maybe it would stop the run, but it's not really going to do that. So we'll go ahead and run just like this. This is probably going to be a stretch play. Turned out to be a counter. I thought I hit outside runs. What the hell was that? So that was an outside run. Still stopped it, though. So we'll go ahead and run just like this. I'm expecting outside runs. So if I run just like this, I don't think it's going to get the, the effect that I want. i got to make some adjustments. Did I not pick? I, I don't know if I picked that. I don't know if that's considered an outside run. But either way, it's stopping it. But these are not the cheesy runs that everybody runs. We all know the cheesy online runs. Um, that people, um, as we're just shutting down right now, this is definitely not outside run. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to show the setup, and then I'll reselect because I must have did something wrong. But either way, the the, the adjustment for outside runs I'm going to do. I like to pinch the defensive line because you never know. It could be an inside run, and then I like to bring these blitzers outside. Now these out now bring these guys outside wide of the blocking is going to do one of two things. One, it's going to force the play back up inside. Their job is to get these edges, and they'll typically do that and stop the play to the outside, which is what I want, because I'm going to be you know, moving with the running back, and if he comes inside, that it gives me an opportunity. So not a lot of adjustments. You can see here, somebody is always uncovered. The fullback has nobody on them. Uh, that's just the way that this play is. Like I said, this is not a play you want to run every time, but if somebody's killing you with that you know, gun, you know, or that single back tight, you know, su uh, sweet play or something, there's a lot of run plays that are really hard to stop outside. This is the play that I typically pull out. I pull out this, and I pull out a play that I uh, put out a ray called the, uh, from the 4-3 under. Maybe I'll, you know, show that next just to, just to cap this. But uh, either way, this is this is the setup. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to back out because I don't think I picked the right set of plays. Okay, I most certainly did not. I think I picked random play. Another thing I do just to kind of speed, if I can't do it as quickly as I want, I'll just uh, pinch the line by hitting L1 and down on the left stick, and then I'll hit R1 and up on the left stick to spread the linebackers. That will give me something kind of close, but it won't have the effect until I move these guys out. I want these guys out. I want them out further than the uh, the farthest blocker. So that tight end right there, he's the furthest blocker. I want him on the outside shoulder because I basically want to get to that. And then I'll take, you know, if it's, if it's the strong side, I'll take the weak side guy and I'll just line up face to face with the running back. So we'll go ahead and let this run. It looks like a, some serious blocking going on there. Like I said, that guy gets outside, he makes the play. I wasn't expecting him to make the play. That's not the point there. Um, you know what I mean? I'm not... Uh, I'm expecting him to either make the play or force it back inside. So we'll go ahead and we'll do this again. I didn't pinch the line. Not the end of the world. Like I said, there's just there's just no holes there. There's no lanes. So we'll go ahead and keep moving this guy out. Like I said, move this guy out and down. This is not, I mean, this Evans guy is not my best defender to hold the edge, but it is what it is. Like I said, always somebody open too. And you see how they, I mean, look at that. That's just gorgeous run defense right there. Now I have a better play that I use, uh, which is a little bit better of a pass defense as well. And like I said, I'll, I, this is pro supposed to be part of a scheme, but uh, I'll go over that. I might go over that quick at the end of this video. We'll, we'll see how long this runs. Uh, look at that. I don't have to do anything. You know what I'm saying? That's just perfect because I got stuck on a block anyway. That's pretty much how this goes. And pinching the line is just to make sure that there's no run defense available inside or there's no run lanes inside. So this play, like I said, once again, it's a little tricky because Watson's not even covered. So me being this, you know, being this linebacker, I got to know that I should pretty much cover Watson. You know what I'm saying? Leave the running back go. Um, but like I said, I do know this is this is not something you run every time. This is something you run if somebody, look at him, he's making the play, the strong safety there. But yeah, these, these inside, you know, pinching that line is really just to stop any any hopes of inside runs. Like I said, the fullback is uncovered here, but he's probably the one that I wouldn't mind for him to be uncovered. That's not really important. And we'll go ahead and we'll stuff that down. Usually, Like I said, he's forced inside. But like I said, I'll also show, just in case you're watching this because you clicked on a base off a of run defense, I'll show how I do the 4-3 under. 
Uh, if you use the Bengals defense, this is a good a good way, a good book to use. But yeah, the four three hundred, I'll pick that, and then we'll go FS fire three, and then we'll continue with the uh, the outside the outside run. I'm gonna mess that up last time. I don't want to mess this up this time. So we'll flip it, random outside run. So this here, I'm gonna do. This is a better pass defense, and it works a lot like the last play. So I'm gonna pinch the line, and then I'm gonna bring the safety down, and I'm gonna bring this linebacker out. Same look. Uh, but you can see how obviously everybody's going to be covered because this is a much better defense. I typically don't want this guy down in the box. I don't know why he's doing that. But I want him out a little bit. And then this is a much better. I mean, the run's going to go over to uh, to the seam flat side. It's obviously better stopped from the safety, the strong safety side. I could always flip it pre-play too if I if I think it's strong side, which I'm pretty sure this is going to be. You can flip that, do the exact same adjustments, and now it's going to be a better defense to stop it. But if you don't know which way the ball's going to go, say it's an even set, like two tight end set or something like that. A little bit hard to say, but this is the exact same look. But you actually have a pass cover defense, which is nice because that last play there, you're not getting a lot of pass coverage because man coverage stinks and somebody's uncovered anyway. So this is definitely a better version of it to mix in. Uh, but like I said, this is this is not necessarily part of the scheme. So I just want to show that. So that's it. Three plays. Didn't mean for it to be three plays. Meant for it to be two plays. Uh oh, I was not paying attention there. I was trying to do my wrap up. <laughs> Good thing that defense is shut down by itself anyway. Uh, but either way, that's it. If you guys want to see more defensive plays, uh, hit the like button. I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.